Yes, it's your favourite poetry teacher in the whole wide world. It's Miss Naomi and it's time for another poetry lesson. <laughs> have you checked out the ones that have happened already? Mmm, let's see what we're going to do first. Everybody and venga, 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 venga. I always start with that, you know, that's how it goes. What's the time? Pumpkin, pumpkin, but darling, I love you. But darling, I love you. The dragon is coming. The dragon is coming. Pumpkin. I'm looking for the man who's got my... I, do you know what? I love that one so much. I'm looking for the man who's got my... Pa. Pa is another word for dad, yeah? I'm looking for the man who's got my pa. I'm looking for the man who's got my pa. Do you know what? I love saying it like that as well. I'm looking for the man who's got my pa. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Boom. Boom! The dragon is coming. What's the time? What's the time? You bet you are. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Had you gold, had you gold? Had you gold, had you gold? Pineapple! Pineapple! You bet you are. Ooh la la. Oh lay. Oh lay. Oh lay. Oh lay. Ooh la la. Boom! Ah! Ah! Had you gold, had you gold? What's the time? What's the time? What is the time? <laughs> As you know, poems can be about anything. But at this time, I really enjoy a poem about nature. Um, whether it's nature that you can see through your window, or it's the nature that you see as you go strolling through the park, or it's stories about nature from the past, or how we imagine the future of nature to be. I love a good nature poem. This one is written by Grace Nichols and it's called Leaf Man and it's brand new, as in I've never read it out loud before, I've just recently come across it. So I thought, haha, for my darlings, let me read this one for you. So have a listen, it's a poem to share. Leaf Man by Grace Nichols. Born of leaves and dust and air. Leaf man comes, leaf man who never walks straight, but drifts through lanes and quiet passageways. If you're lucky, you might glimpse him disappearing down a path of autumn or veering round the curve of an alley. Or simply leaning against an old flint wall. And when he doesn't want to be seen, he lets the leaves of himself fall into a golden brown rug. Then with a swirl, before you can blink, he shimmies himself up, sticking his conquer eyes back in. <laughs> Though sometimes he gets into a spin with the wind, blown southerly when he wants to go northerly, easterly when he prefers westerly. On bonfire night, he watches from the hideout of his hedge. The dancing flames leap high, his leaf nerves standing on edge when they toss in the dye. But who knows where he goes, shivering into the darkness? One thing's for certain. Next year, he'll be back again. Leaf man up and rustling to the vein. I think it's quite a magical poem. I think there's something quite mystical and a little bit spooky, but a nice kind of spooky with it. So it really helped me as I was saying those words for you guys to imagine what Leaf Man looks like and how he feels at the bonfire and when he's leaning against the wall and the battles that he has with wind when he wants to go one way, but wind says, ah, uh -uh, mate, you're going another. I'm gonna read it to you one more time. Have a listen. Leaf Man by Grace Nichols. Born of leaves and dust and air, Leaf Man comes. Leaf Man who never walks straight but drifts through lanes and quiet passageways. Oh, that's good. If you're lucky, you might glimpse him disappearing down a path of autumn or veering round the curve of an alley or simply leaning against an old flint wall. And when he doesn't want to be seen, he lets the leaves of himself fall into a golden brown rug. Then with a swirl, before you can blink, he shimmies himself up, sticking his conquer eyes back in. That's really fun. 
though sometimes he gets into a spin with the wind, blown southerly when he wants to go northerly, easterly when he prefers westerly, on bonfire night. He watches from the hideout of his hedge. The dancing flames leap high, his leaf nerves standing on the edge when they toss in the guy. But who knows where he goes shivering into the darkness? One thing's for certain. Next year, he'll be back again. Leaf man up and rustling to the vein. Oh, those words are fabulous, aren't they? <gasps> Oh, they were so good. I love the idea of putting the conkers back in the eyes, yeah? And I, I really like the whole fact that he can kind of dissolve down into a golden puddle and then bring himself up together again. That's the magic of nature. Oh. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. I have noticed that a lot of tongue twisters have animals in, but I think this is the first zebra one I've come across. Have a listen. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. I'm taking it quite slow uh, to make sure that I get all of the sounds. So have a listen again. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly and I'm really accentuating I'm really stretching out all the sounds and making sure it's really clear you want to have a go three times and this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly how did you go did you manage to get all the sounds Mm, we'll see. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. Can you see how hard I'm making my mouth work? So you saw it earlier, right? So let's see if we can try it. This is the sixth. Oh, should we have a V? This is the, no, let's have a V. <laughs> this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly lots of great shapes in our tongue twister to really get our mouths working ready for poetry and speaking and being clear uh should we just go for it <laughs> let's just do it three times <gasps> wait a minute sixth shall we try and do it six okay are we pushing it if we try and do it six times all right let's do three and then try six. Let's see how we go. Nice and slow and steady for these three. And this is the oh, and this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. For me, the tricky bit is this is the sixth, the sixth, because you've got the th for the, and then you've got sixth which has got the X and the TH in again, all right? So this is the sixth, this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. All right, I'm feeling it. Should we try it six times? <laughs> okay, and I think we should go at quite a pace, but try and get, no, 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 let's take it slow, but let's do six, but a little bit quicker than what it was last time. Six times, yeah, for each of the zebras. And this is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. 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 Last one. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly. I was cheeky because I put in the last one, which might have broken the rhythm. I do apologise, but I just wanted us to all know what we were doing. This is the sixth zebra snoozing thoroughly 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 this is the sixth zebra you know what this is right exactly this is the poem that we are going to perform together and um it's about love and it's called my loves and it's written by langston hughes have a listen I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. I love the soft wind sighing before the dawn's grey light. 
I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. But better than all these things, I think, I love my lady love. So the question is, what do you love most above everything else? Don't tell me. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. Or maybe there's a couple of things that you love. In this poem by Langston Hughes, he's talking about all the different things that he loves. A lot of it, again, is to do with nature and his surroundings. But he ends the poem, yeah, the final verse, because it's a three-verse poem. The final verse is talking about the loves, probably that he loves the most. I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. But better than all these things, I think I love my lady love. So there's lots of things that we love, but there's always going to be one that's at the top of the list. But it might change from day to day. <laughs> Let's have another listen of this poem. And when I read it, I want you to think about all the things that you love and how that makes you feel, how that feeling, that emotion of love makes you feel. OK, have a listen, my darlings. My Loves by Langston Hughes. I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. I love the soft wind sighing before the dawn's grey light. I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. But better than all these things, I think, I love my lady love. Ah, oh. so I think now that you've heard it a couple of times and you've really used your imagination and everything that you are to think about that word love and how it makes you feel. What am I going to say? It's time for actions, 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 actions. So as I said, it's three verses. So, you know, when we say my loves by Langston Hughes, we do no action. All right. But the first verse is, I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. So I think every time we say the word I love, we do an action. So I, I'm going to do to my heart. You might, some of you I know, like I'm trying to do it, like to do the little love heart sign. Yeah, because some of you are very sweet and show me that love heart sign. You might have a different action that you could do. But for me, I'm always going to do this. And you can do this if you want. So I think for the first two lines I'm going to do, I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. So I point to there and then I do a big circle for a shining and I go back into the sky. Let me show you. I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. Did you do it? Let's try the next two lines. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. Mm. So I love to see, and I think I'm going to do an action for little. I love to see the little stars. Oh, when the shadow, mm, something like this, I think. I love to see the little stars. Yeah, I think I'm going to do an action. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. Oh, that felt good. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. Let's move on to the second verse. That's the first verse done, by the way. Second verse. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. So I think I'm going to keep it really simple, this one. I love the raindrops. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. I think I actually might put the rooftop over my head. Yeah. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. Oh, I like that. That felt good. Mm. I love the soft wind sighing before the dawn's grey light. Oh. I love the soft wind sighing. <sighs> and I'm going to do a sigh. It just feels right. I love the soft wind sighing. <sighs> before the dawn's grey light. And I think for that word light, everything is going to be light. So my hands are going to come up and be open. My face is going to be open like light, like I'm seeing brightness and how that makes me feel. Mm. I love the, oh, sorry. 
I love the soft wind sighing. <sighs> did you see what I do with my hands? Before the dawn's grey light. So when I'm sighing, I use it to bring my hands down and then to bring them up again for, for the light. I think that works quite nicely. I love the soft wind sighing. <sighs> Before the dawn's grey light. That feels good. Final verse. Ah! I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. Got to make sure I get that S in the right place. Sometimes I say Lord heavens, but it's Lord's heaven. So I need to get that right. I love the deepness of the blue mm, in my Lord's heaven above. I think that's quite nice. Just kind of opening out that action. Like, like you're holding up the heavens. I quite like it. I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. Well, I got the S right. In my Lord's heaven above. And I think maybe look up. That's quite nice because it opens that action up. It opens up your energy. It opens up your face. I like that. I love the deepness of the blue. In my Lord's heaven above. What does Langston write next? Ha! But better than all these things, I think. I love my lady love. That just feels great because I think the last two lines Langston is telling us, the poet is telling us the thing that he loves the most. So I think let's make those words speak for themselves to so keep the actions really minimal, really small. But better than all those things, sorry, but better than all these things, I think I love my lady love. You know what I'm going to say, right? <laughs> Should we try the whole poem with the actions? We'll go slow and steady, all right, because there's a lot of actions to do and there's a lot of words and I want to make sure I'm clear. So let's take our time. Name of poem, name of poet. My Loves by Langston Hughes. I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. I love the soft wind sighing <sighs> before the dawn's grey light. I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. But better than all these things, I think, I love my lady love. Did I get that right? Oh, oh, I did. Didn't even look. <laughs> How wonderful. Really nice actions. We took it nice and slow. I think we should try it again one more time. Um, but let's see if we can now add the words as well. All right. Um, yeah, let's try it. <clears throat> My Loves by Langston Hughes. Words and actions, words and actions. I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. I love the soft wind sighing <sighs> before the dawn's grey light. I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. But better than all these things, I think, I love my lady love. Ooh. How does that poem make you feel? It's quite a, it's quite a lovely poem. <laughs> I want to try it one more time. I know I said, I, I said that time was the last one. I want to try it one more time. And this time what we're going to do is I want you to really think about your expression. Okay, so when you are saying these words, what is the feeling that you have inside? that affects, makes the words sound different, okay? So when we say words, 
we can say them differently without feeling. So I want you to really think about the feeling as we perform this for the final time together. And I think I might just pick up the pace a little bit. Yeah. Let's try it. Last time together, my darlings. Are you ready? Are you ready? Name of poem, name of poet. My Loves by Langston Hughes. Think about those feelings. Keep those feelings. I love to see the big white moon a shining in the sky. I love to see the little stars when the shadow clouds go by. Keep that feeling. I love the raindrops falling on my rooftop in the night. Keep that feeling. I love the soft wind sighing before the dawn's grey light. I love the deepness of the blue in my Lord's heaven above. But better than all these things, I think, I love my lady love. Ooh. Langston Hughes is a great poet. Really, really is. So, you know what I'm going to do, right? Uh -huh. I'll leave the words up at the end. So, if you want to have a bit of a practice, What's really good is we do poetry and we do performance. So have a bit of a practice, have a rehearsal, yeah, with the words and the actions. Change some of the actions if you want. If you want to add more actions, add more of your own actions, please do. Remember, you're doing your thing for I love, yeah, and then show it to somebody at home. Like make it a real performance and get them to give you a big round of applause at the end. All right. As I say, there are lots of videos on my video channel. There are quite a few that you can have a look at that are that I filmed and recorded and videoed and edited and performed just for you. So have a little look at all of the different videos that are there. Some of them are just the game of Venga Venga. There's also poems that you can listen to, me saying. There's a bit of Royal Dahl on there, so you can listen to some story poems. But there's also more classes like this that you can participate in, get involved with, okay? Let me know how you get on, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> See you soon, my darlings. Take care. Take care.